Hi everyone. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Lisette. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. All right. So I yeah. hope you're lifting some. Hi, hello, Kita. <laughs> hello, Kita. Hi. Good evening. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you all. Today we are in Friday, May 12th, 2023. We are officially in class 16, all right? This is the last class of the course. Then you go to beginners number two and let's get started. Today we are going to review content learned, right? We are going to review content learned. Throughout the whole uh, course, you've been, you've been practicing a lot with a verb to be, present progressive, right? Today won't be the exception. Today we're going to continue practicing with verb to be and present continuous because I have noticed that we're still having some gaps that we need to fill out. Ahora, paso a decir en, en español lo que he dicho. Durante todo el curso hemos estado estudiando el simple present and el verb to be más el present progressive, all right? Siempre con el verb to be. Lo han trabajado muy bien, pero aún así tenemos algunos gaps, algunos espacios en blanco que tenemos que rellenar, ¿ok? Entonces vamos a utilizar esa clase para eso y también eh, comentarles que este es el último día que tienen para llenar la plataforma. No sé si les habían dado hasta el mediodía para llenarla o tienen hasta la noche, but so far I think that you should have finished, pero hasta ahorita ya tendríamos que haber finalizado, right? Terminamos la plataforma justo a tiempo, así que no problem whatsoever. So let's check. <clears throat> we have activities in present progressive. You might remember that yesterday we were talking about this, right? De seguro recuerdan que ayer estuvimos hablando sobre las activities in present progressive. Usually, we do more things than just activities, right? So let's check. Um, let me ask Manuel Hernandez, can you please tell me the vocabulary presented? Hello? Can you please tell me the vocabulary? <laughs> Play tennis? Hmm? Ride a bike, a bike, room, swim, take a walk, dance. Manuel, ride. take a walk or take a walk? Take a walk. Mm -hmm. Dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, read, Study, watch television. That's correct, indeed. Thank you. Now, let's ask. Como ya sabemos hacer las actividades. Estas activities están, let's call it in infinity, all right? Supongamos que estas actividades están en infinity. En realidad están en infinity, solo que no tienen el T-O, el to. All right? To play, to write, to run. Pero están en infinity, okay? ¿Cómo las hacemos progressive? ¿Cómo sonarían en progressive? All right? No es necesario que me den el sujeto ni una oración. Solo quiero que me digan cómo sonarían en progressive. So, vamos a pedirle a Jensi Valle, please. Tell me the first three activities in present progressive. Playing tennis. Uh -huh. Check. Driving car. Riding, la segunda es ride. Ah, sorry, because I'm down and driving in the mountain in your cars. Uh, okay, riding bike. Uh huh. And the third one? Running. Running, exactly. Thank you, sir. Let me listen to Mario Molina. Tell me the other three activities in progressive. Continúa con las otras tres actividades in progressive, please. Okay. Swimming. Uh huh. Taking a walk, mm -hmm. dancing. Exactly, that's correct. Very good. Let me listen to Kevin Chicas. Tell me the other three activities that we have under the first line. I mean, okay. second line. Driving, going to the movies, shopping. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Let me listen. Um, let's see. Lisette. Rodriguez, tell me the last three activities in progressive, please. 
Ready, study, watching. All right, repeat after me. Reading. Reading. Studying. Studying. Thank you, Lisette. That's correct. Okay. Very good. Entonces, si manejamos bien, ¿cómo haríamos las activities in progress? <clears throat> Let's go to the next one. Take a look at the pictures. Write sentences in progressive. Example, Pablo is playing tennis, all right? So let's check. Piensen, sé que algunos de ustedes quizás eh, piensan las cosas en español y luego las quieren redactar en inglés. Si vamos a pensar en español, pensemos directamente en una expresión en progressive, right? De las que tienen aquí. Porque si no me mezclan tiempos gramaticales con presente y el futuro, el presente y el pasado, and that's not the point. Y el punto es que sepamos quedarnos en el present progressive, right? So you are going to create, me van a crear three sentences, tres oraciones, utilizando these images, okay? Bueno, not three, two, only two sentences using these images. Play, please. Use most likely third person singular. Utilicemos quizás la tercera persona singular, la tercera persona plural. Tratemos de no utilizar I o you, right? Porque esos son los que más hemos escuchado durante todo el, sí, todo el curso. Tratemos de utilizar los otros objects o cambiarlos por nouns, ¿ok? Can I pass first? Let's check who's the one who said that. Kevin. Kevin. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Kevin, action, tell me. Okay. She's reading for the exam. She mm -hmm. is studying for the for be a teacher, maybe. <laughs> to be a teacher. To be a teacher. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Simple as that. Thank you, Kevin. Let's wait for the rest to finish the activity. Great, we hear you, Miguel. Okay. Jose is reading a book. Mm -hmm. Lisa and Francisco are running in the park. Very good, excellent. Lisa and Francisco, very good. Thank you, Miguel. Somebody else? Someone else who has finished? How how many exercises? Only two. Two? Only two tenses, yes. Okay. Uh, I started. Um, I driving a car. And vaya, pero qué dije de utilizar el I? Ah, okay. Aquí, um, Yo estoy, estoy 100% segura que ustedes se saben utilizar mucho el I y el you, pero quiero saber cómo utilizamos los otros subjects. Ok. Eh, eh, she... She driving... Um, she driving two bus. Alright. ¿Le hace falta algo ahí, Mario? Uh, Le voy a decir dos opciones. Y escucha okay. y me dice cuál le parece. 
Okay. She is driving a car. She driving a car. She is driving a car. Exacto. No olvide, no olvide el verbo porque si no, no me está dando present progressive. Okay. La segunda. Eh, my girlfriend and I going to the movies. Okay, very good. My girlfriend and I were going to the movies. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Mario. Very okay. good. Let's listen to Mr. Hernandez. Action. Okay. They are listen, listening music. Mm -hmm. uh, we are shopping in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Excellent. Thank you, Manuel. That's correct. Let's listen to... According to the order that we have in here, let's listen Evelyn Flores and after Evelyn Manuel Campos. <clears throat> Maria Jose is uh, doing her homework, and Gabby is uh, washing the dishes. Washing the dishes. All right, she's no. correct. No, some part of the vocabulary, but it's correct. Thank you. All right, let's listen to Manuel Campos. He's playing tennis. Uh -huh. She's swimming right now. Mm -hmm. Very good. Manuel. Thank you. She's swimming right now. Jency, let me listen to you. Um, well, let me see. Okay, Carol, Carol reading her bike. ¿Las trabajó en el cuaderno, Jensi? No, I, 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 no. No, I try to deconstruct the, the, the syntax. Okay, pero ahí le hace falta algo. Si ahí no me está dando present progressive. You are missing the verb. Carol is. Okay, whatever. Okay. Carol is riding her bike. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh, my uncle shopping in in this drugstore. Where is the verb, Jancy? Me dijo de nuevo, my uncle shopping. My uncle is shopping in the drugstore. That's correct. Thank you. Very good. Let's listen to Lisette Rodriguez. Okay. Uh, Carla is walking to a school. Uh -huh. uh, Roxana is going to the movies. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Let's listen to uh, Salvador Medrano, please. Okay. My friend Henry is studying from the exam. Uh -huh. And Carol and John are dancing in the floor. Very good, excellent, thank you. All of you, great job, all right? That's correct, you have nothing wrong with your sentences. No one, ningún, re, ningún error con las oraciones, right? Creo que estamos trabajando bien el tema, lo hemos comprendido, so let's continue practice. Let's go with this, um, with this conversation that we are missing, okay? Even though we are not missing anything else, aunque no nos hace falta nada más de la plataforma, vamos a escuchar esta conversation that appears in there, right? Que aparece ahí para poder escuchar la pronunciation and then practice together, okay? So this class is pretty much practice. All the things that you're going to be doing is are practice. So let's check. I'm going to share with you right now. Hi everyone, in this class you'll read an online chat and develop skills in reading for new tips. So let's get started. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. 
Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute, where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait, my mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay. Bye. Bye. Now let's go back to the PowerPoint and let's check. We have a uh, Meg and Kathy. Hi there. Hi Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for a Spanish class. Can you chat for a minute? Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How's your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside, he's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait, my mother is home. She's calling me, I have to go. Okay, bye, bye, there you go. Notice, please, notemos, por favor. Toda, toda la conversation está en present progressive, okay? Desde la first question, what are you doing? It's in present progressive. So let's check, let's start with, let me see. Kevin Chicas, great job, you are Meg, and I need somebody else. Let's see who else. Mm -hmm. Okay, Evelyn Flores, you are Kathy. Action. Let's show us how you do it. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing on. He said for a Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? I am at an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I am having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They are fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lamb. My mother is out shopping. Oh, where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's called me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you. Good pronunciation, both of you. A great job with intonation, right? It was relaxed, but at the same time, understandable. And nothing else to say. Uh, might add something special that is the voice tone, right? That you were lowering, lowering it and also rising it when it was needed. Very good. Let's go with Miguel. Miguel, you are Meg and... Let me see. Salvador Medrano, you are Kathy. Action. Hi there. 
Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm reading an essay for a Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? Hi. Hi, Internet Cafe. Why, my friend, Carmen, I'm having coffee and she's reading amazing. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where is your brother? John's not home. She's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait, my mother is home. She called me and I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Perfect. Thank you, both of you. Let's just do not forget the progression, all right? My mother is home. She's calling me, right? Progressive. Now, a good intonation. The conversation gives you a space to right, raise your hand or to have a raising voice tone, right? Which you were playing with. La conversación nos da espacio como para subir la entonación y bajarla later on y bajarla después. Y ustedes lo hicieron. Very good. You were rising and going down. Okay, a rising and raising. Now, let's go with the next one. And let's see. Mario Molina, you are Meg. And Manuel Hernández, you are... No, sorry. Okay. Mario Molina, you are Meg. Manuel Hernández, you are Kathy. Action. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you what are you working on? I'm waiting on inside for a Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you do? Where are you, Pedro? I in an internet coffee with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not, not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Great job. Thank you, both of you. Emmanuel Hernandez, repeat after me. Writing. Writing. Exactly, writing. Ready. And vamos a ver cuál was Which one? Ah, okay. Mario Molina, right? Esto no es algo que usted va a corregir, solo es algo para que sepa, okay? Eh, Internet café. Se dice café así como en Spanish, right? Es lo que nosotros conocemos como un ciber, right? Okay, eh, okay. Usualmente en ese lugar venden café, right? Pero al café, a la bebida de café sí le decimos coffee, pero en este caso, internet café, right? Great job. Thank you, both of you. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. Eh, let's see. Manuel, Mario, Miguel, Salvador, Evelyn, Manuel Campos. Ok, Manuel Campos, you are Meg, Lisette Rodriguez, you are Kathy. Action. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What, what are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you doing? What are you working on? I am reading an inside for a Spanish class. Sorry, Spanish repeat, class. Lisette. I'm writing. Uh, I'm writing. An essay. Uh, an essay. An essay. An essay. Can you chat? 
for a minute. Where are you? Where are you? Um, in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. Who is your family? They are all, they are fine. My mom, my father working outside. He's he's mow, mowing. The la the law, my mother is out shopping. What is your brother? John's not not home. She's playing so soccer in the park. Oh oh wait, my mother is home. She is calling me. I have to I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Perfect. Thank you. That was a challenge, right? You said. <laughs> Eso sí que fue un reto, ¿verdad? Porque le tocó sí. la parte más larga. Very good. Sí. Es excelente. La felicito. Gracias. Great job. All right, my dear students. Uh, same for you, Manuel Campos. All right. As per usual, como es usual, es un excelente trabajo. Do not forget. Algo que noté cuando estaban haciendo la conversation es que se nos olvidó un poquito que cuando tenemos WH words en una pregunta, o sea, WH questions, la entonación baja o sube. ¿Quién me lo dice? Pauline. Pauline Tanation, very good. Entonces, ¿cómo diría en la primera pregunta usted, Manuel Hernández? What are you doing? Exactly. What are you doing? Very good. No podemos decir, what are you doing? Okay. We can't because we need to remember. Very good, everyone. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's move on. WH words. This is as a matter of review. Esto es como para que repasemos, okay? Let me have Salvador. Please tell me who, what, and when. Who? Asking about a person. What? Asking about a thing or idea when asked about time that's correct thank you kevin chicas where why and how where asking about a place why asking about a reason how asking about a way of doing something that's correct thank you now let's move on to the following please Remind me, recuérdenme por favor si tenemos esta practice con ustedes. Creo que no la hemos hecho, ¿verdad? Rearrange no. the sentences. Vaya. Ok. Eh, estas, esta practice es solo con el verb to be, pero no en progressive. All right? Es con el verb to be en forma normal, como, como cuando iniciamos el curso. You might remember. Ok. Eso lo teníamos según la estructura, verb to be, no, teníamos subject plus verb to be plus complement, ¿ok? So, based on that structure, you are going to rearrange these sentences. Vamos a re, reformar, all right, reescribir, ¿ok? Eh, las oraciones que tenemos aquí. Let's work on them, please. Ya tienen todos los elementos. No le vayan a borrar ni a poner nada extra. Solo es de ordenarlas. Let's work on it on your notebooks, please. Remember, these are not in progression. Estas no son en progresivo.
How are we doing? Have we finished some of them? ¿Ya finalizamos algunas? Ok, Kevin, you have finished. Great, bye. Eh, vamos a esperar two more minutes, Kevin, para que sus compañeros puedan finalizar y todos estemos in the same page. All right, Evelyn, excellent. Thank you, very good. Let's wait for them two minutes. Ok, Manuel finished already. All of you finished? ¿Ya todos finalizaron? Ok, let's get started. Let's check. Let me listen to Kevin Chicas, please. Tell me number one. I am not a teacher. That's correct. Very good. Mario Molina, number two. She is my mother. Great. Evelyn Flores, number three. Are the boys happy? Exactly. Eh, Manuel Campos, number four. The girl is in the room. Very good. Eh, Manuel Hernández, number five. Bueno, la five está repetida, right? Pero la primera, number five. We are not at, we, perdón, we are not at home. Excellent, thank you. Eh, Salvador, number five, the second one. La segunda. Okay. My chat is smart. Exactly. Thank you. And let's listen to Miguel, number six. My mother is a housewife. A housewife. 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 Exactly. Una ama de casa. Very good. Lizeth, number seven, please. She is not my sister. Exactly. And Freddy, number eight. Okay, let's go with Kevin Chicas, number eight, please. The teacher is angry. All right, esa pregunta, ¿cómo haría usted una pregunta? Porque ahí me está dando una afirmación. I thought that I said like a question, sorry. Uh, is, the, is the teacher angry? Exactly, that's sorry. correct, very good. Yeah, it's correct, don't worry. De hecho, sí lo van a encontrar de vez en cuando, así como acaba de hacerlo Kevin, right? Solo que la entonación le va a dar a entender a la persona de que están haciendo la forma de pregunta. But that's not from today to tomorrow, right? Eso no es de la noche a la mañana. Is we need to practice a lot to give the intonation. If not, let's continue doing it dramatically correct. Let's go with Freddy, number nine. Uh, the dog is in the kennel. In the kennel? Yes. Very good. That's correct. Exactly. The dog is in the kennel. All right. In the perrera. Very good. Thank you all, great practice, perfect. Verbs of body movement. Ayer, ayer aprendíamos unas activities, ¿verdad? Que las hicieron en progresivo en esta clase. Son las que vimos al principio. Pero ahora tenemos verbs of body movement. We have bend, que es inclinarse. No le voy a dar todas en, ingle, en español, all right? Because that is double translation. So, you're gonna search the ones that you didn't get. Ustedes van a buscar en un diccionario o en internet the ones that you don't understand what is the meaning of. Lift, carry, kneel, hold, sit, punch, pick up, leap, jump, drag, right? So let's check. Let me listen to, let's start with Manuel Campos. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Uh, repeat, please. Bend. Bend. Oh, yeah, you're going to tell me the vocabulary. Okay. The first. Uh, the first line. Okay. Bend. Lift. Neil, uh, hold, sit. Thank you. Miguel, the second line, please. Okay. Punch, pick up, 
Lip, June, Drag. Thank you. Evelyn Flores, the first line, please. Okay. Ben, Liv, Kevin, Neil, Hall, Sid. Thank you. Kevin Chicas, the second line, please. Punch, pick up, leap, jump, draw. Thank you. Eh, Manuel Campos, the first line, please. Again. Okay. Oh, sorry, there we have too many Manuels. <laughs> Okay, the same as, as Kevin's. We have a lot of Kevin's in the class. Sorry. Uh, Manuel Hernandez, it was, please, the first line. Ben, Liv, Kerry, Nell, Hold, Sit. Very good. Uh, Lizeth, please, the second line. Punch, pick up, lift, jump. Drop. Thank you. Mario Molina, the first line, please. Ben, leave, carry, near, hold, sit. Thank you, Salvador Medrano, the second line. Punch, pick up, leap, jump, drop. Very good. Thank you. Now, I want you, each of you is going to tell me one sentence with these verbs, all right? Una oración con estos verbs. And I'm going to give you one minute to create it. One minute is that much. It's too much, but that's what you got, okay? Let's work on it. One sentence. Okay, everyone, I'm going to check the attendance list. So whenever you listen to your name, say present. Beatriz Adriana, absent. Carlos Salvador. Present. Evelyn Flores. Freddy Franco. Present. Present. Jacqueline Beatriz. Eh, David Rosales. Mario Molina. Present. Lizeth Osorio. Kevin Alexander. Kevin Antonio Chicas. Present. Daniel Rivera. Ernesto Garcia. Manuel Antonio Hernández. Present. Manuel Campos. Present. Okay, Lizeth Rodriguez. Present. Uh, Miguel Galán. Present. Sandra Beatriz. William Alexander. And Asensio Valle. Okay. 
now, everyone. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Tell me your sentences, please. I hear you. Let's start with Manuel Hernandez. Tell me your sentences, please. Uh, my mind is on hold. All right. <laughs> my mind is on hold. Okay. Vaya, pero ahí este, me está utilizando simple present. Sí está correcto, right? Pero uh... en realidad no, no está correcto. Eh... Bueno, está en espera, sí, sí está correcto. It's on hold. Uh -huh. Lo que aquí hold está utilizado como... ¿Otra, otra acción? No, está utilizado como adjetivo. Mm, ya. Yeah. All right. Porque sí hay verbos que son adjetivos y adjetivos que son verbos. Uh -huh. yeah, confusing. Pero a ver, okay. eh, eh, Mr. Hernández, dígamelo en progressive. Uy, holding. My mind is holding. All right, my mind is holding. Exactly. <laughs> Very good. Now let's listen to Kevin Chicas. They are jumping on the bed. Mm -hmm. Very good. Lisa Rodriguez, please. Uh, Roxana is jumps very high. Y el ING, Lisa? <laughs> Roxana is jumps very high. Y el ING, Lisa? Ah, jumping. Jumping. Roxana jumpings. Jumpings, no. Jumping. Jumping, sí. No, no me le agregue la S, Lisa. <laughs> si no me lo está diciendo en otro tiempo. Jumping. Right. Sí. Yes, very good. Thank you. Está correcto, excelente. Vamos con Mario Molina. Uh, towards the in progress. Only one in progressive. Oh, uh, normal. Progressive. Oh, es que escogí la que peor es, creo yo. <laughs> uh, she, she, in, 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 uh, uh, kneel in the church. Yeah, she's kneeling on the church. Uh -huh. Se está arrodillando en la iglesia. Yeah, very good. Pero hay esas, esas, con el progressive, no sé si es kneeling o, o siempre es la misma palabra. No, es no, kneeling. No puede ser progressive si no tiene el ING y el verb to be. Tiene que ser ah. kneeling. Ok, ok. Kneeling. Yes, very good. Now, eh, let's listen to Salvador. Okay, my brother is sitting for a rest. Mm -hmm. Rest, no es cosa sin descansar, ¿sí va? Yeah, yeah, my brother is sitting to rest, sería mejor. To okay. rest. Mm -hmm. Right. And let's listen to Evelyn, please. Okay, Vero is punching the door. Pu punching the door. Mm -hmm. Okay. Punch. Yes, tiene que ser punch. Sorry, sorry. Don't no worry. Punch. That's correct. Thank you. Eh, Miguel, please. No sé si está correcta. I was sitting the whole English class. All right. Pero ahí me está utilizando pasado progresivo. I was. Estuvo. Yo estaba. Right. Y ahorita estamos en present progressive. ¿Cómo la haría? Estoy. Sería ahí. I... I'm sitting nada más. I'm sitting in the world English class. All right. I'm sitting dream. Eh, porque si me dice on the English class, como que está sentado en la clase de inglés, right? Okay. During English class. Very good, Miguel. That's correct. Thank you. Eso es lo que quiero que aprenda, all right? Un verbo tiene muchas maneras de utilizarse. Ya vieron ustedes que algunos pueden ser utilizados en presente simple, en presente progresivo, en presente eh, pasado progresivo, como hizo Miguel, all right? E inclusive lo podemos utilizar como 
como subject, como, perdón, como adjective, como adjetivo, right? Entonces, tenemos que saber jugar eso en la mente, right? Así como algunos de ustedes lo tenían en otro tiempo gramatical, pero rapidito lo pasaron al progressive, de eso es lo que todos tenemos que ser capaces, right? Para no tener mucho struggle, para no tener mucha lucha al momento de estar hablando. So let's check. Esto es más vocabulary que les he dado. Espero que algunos de ustedes lo tengan en el cuaderno. So, since the beginning of the course, we saw uh, punctuation marks. I won't repeat the pronunciation. You might know already the pronunciation. So, let me listen to Kevin Chicas, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Comma, apostrophe, hyphen, ellipsis, full stop, period, exclamation mark, question mark, parenthesis, Uh -huh. Breakers, column, brackets. breakers, brackets, brackets, okay, columns, semicolons, slash, quotation marks, dash. Very good, semicolon, repeat Kevin, semicolon. Uh, semicolon, okay. Exactly, yes, very good. Let's go with Evelyn Flores, please, and after Evelyn, Salvador Medrán. Coma, apostrophe, hyphen, ellipsis, full stop, period, exclamation mark, question mark, parenthesis, brackets, column, semicolon, slash, question Quotation. marks, quot dash, or, or hyphen. ¿Ok? Depende. Usualmente si tenemos el, el que es larguito y está en medio es dash. Si tenemos el que va hacia abajo es también hyphen. ¿Right? So let's check. Cuando tiene el or es porque puede ser ya sea el chiquito o el largo. ¿Alright? Eh, quotation marks. Usualmente utilizamos quotation marks cuando estamos citando a alguien. ¿Alright? O cuando decimos algo hipotéticamente. ¿Hipotéticamente? Yeah, that's correct. They know you're you're not being true about it. So that's when we're using quotation marks. Let's go with Salvador, please. Comma, apostrophe, hyphen, ellipsis, full stop, period, exclamation mark, question mark, parentheses, brackets, column, semicolon, column. Semicolon. Semicolon. Slash, quotation marks, and dash. That's correct. Thank you. Now, let's move on to the following, everyone. We have the alphabet. Let's check if we still remember the letters from the alphabet. Let me have Lisette. Please tell me the alphabet. A, B, C, D, A, F, G, H, I, G, K, L, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, C. Okay, repeat after me. E. E. En inglés la E se pronuncia E. E. La J sería J. J. Exactly. J. 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 K. Very good. K. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Uh, let me see. Manuel Hernandez, please. It's uh, spelled your name and your last name. Perdón, no entendí. Spell, spell your name and your last name. Fue de las primeras actividades que hicimos cuando llegamos al curso. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. My last name is... Hernández. H E R N A N D E C. Right, very good, excellent, thank you. Now let's move on to the following. Uh, let me see. I'm not sure. Let me see. 
Please remember when to use verb to be. Por favor, tratemos de recordar siempre con cuál sujeto vamos a hacer uso del verb to be am, con cuál sujeto vamos a hacer uso del verb to be is, y el are, con qué sujeto iría. Let's move on to the following. Let me have a... Manuel Campos, please tell me the full form and Miguel Galán, the short form, action. I am. I. You are. Your. He is. His. She is. She's. It is. It's. We are. We're. You are. Your. They are. They are. Excellent. Thank you. Now, you might remember this and this and this. Pero ahorita voy a pasar a esto antes de la practice. Si nos queda tiempo, vamos a hacer la practice. Pero ahorita esto sí quiero que lo sepa. We've been using... Give me one second, all right? Denme un minutito. Ya abro la cámara de regreso. Okay, we've been using the present continuous quite around three weeks, all right? Llevamos con el presente continuo como dos semanas, tres, no dos semanas. Now, I want you to check the way we write. Si bien es cierto al hacerme las oraciones de manera oral, all right? Cuando ustedes me las dicen, you are correct. Están en lo correcto, siguen la estructura, como estamos con el writing, ¿ok? So, the spelling changes before ing. Cuando cambia la manera de la escritura, el spelling, right? Cuando tenemos ing. Words ending in, con palabras que terminan en i, y les puse el ejemplo, a, right? I'm going to erase the E and I'm going to add ING. Borro la E y agrego ING. M. Con S, lo que vamos a hacer es double it up. Vamos a doblar la consonante. Le agrego otra M. Swimming. Run. Double it up. Agregamos una N. Running. Stop. Double it up. Agregamos otra P. Stopping. T. Get. Double it up. Double T. La vamos a doblar, o sea, vamos a hacer dos. Y decimos getting. All right? Getting. No tan algo extraño. Veamos. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre las vocales y las, consonales, y las consonantes de lo que ustedes pueden ver ahí? Hay una diferencia. Right? Aparte de que son vocales y consonantes, right? Pero en cuanto a la escritura, ¿cuál pueden notar ustedes? El que tenga la respuesta, levanta la mano virtual para darle la palabra. There's something particular. Kevin, chicas, let me listen to you. Mm, maybe it's because for consonant, we have to double it up. And for... Eh, Vowels. What? Vowels. Vowels. We just change it for ING. Exactly. Borramos. Cuando tenemos vowels, borramos. Cuando tenemos consonantes, agregamos. That's something, all right? Eso es algo que tienen que conocer. Now, and let's check the next one. Vamos a chequear la siguiente. Con esta no nos vamos a detener mucho porque por lo menos el último verbo está en pasado. Dice... Eh, lo que estábamos hablando anteriormente, right? Cuando tenemos vowels como I, E, perdón, como A, E, I, O, y U, que son vowels, vamos a borrar, ¿ok? Y agregar el ING de un solo. All the other letters, B, C, D, etc., are consonants, all right? Y con esas vamos a hablar una más. Teacher, ¿pero eso va a ser siempre así? No, hay una regla, dice... Vean la segunda regla. The final consonant is not doubled. La 
la última consonante no va a ser doblada cuando usted tiene una vocal antes de esa consonante, como clean. All right? Cleaning. Como yo tengo la vocal A, no puedo agregar otra N después de la de primera N que ya tengo. That's one of the rules. Okay? Now, my dear students, because I have to go to another course, I'm going to leave you in here. Los voy a dejar aquí. You can analyze this. It's pretty much what you have seen during the course. Uh, I don't want to go without saying thank you so much for being in class. No me quiero ir sin agradecerles por estar presente en cada una de las clases. Hay personas que fueron muy insistentes en todo el curso, es decir, de que no faltaron ninguna clase. Y eso es excelente. Los felicito de antemano y les deseo éxito. No se rindan, all right? Puede ser difícil al principio, pero no es imposible, believe me. Okay, so I'll see you in the future. Bye, take care. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.